In today's video, I'm gonna hopefully show you how to spot the differences between a clone JLR DOIP interface and a genuine one. So first things first, let's talk about some physical differences. The clone one has this little green quality control sticker, whereas the genuine one does not. There's also a warranty void sticker on the SD card of the genuine one. There is not one on the clone. The Wi-Fi adapter that comes in the clone one was a generic aftermarket type N Wi-Fi adapter, whereas the genuine ones have a D-Link adapter underneath the protective cover. The wires themselves that come with a genuine one have nice labeling and part numbers and the little anti-snag covers on the ethernet have these nice little plastic fingers on the genuine cable. The clone ones do not have that. The USB cable on the genuine one will have a nice little Bosch sticker on it. And even though the clone came with one that does say Bosch on the USB, it does not have that sticker. The DLC connector on the genuine one will have a nice little heat shrink voltage rating on the end of it, as well as a Bosch sticker. The clone one did not. Another difference on the clone one too is actually the pins inside are silver and larger on the clone, whereas all of the Bosch interfaces I've ever purchased have a copper color to them. Funny enough though, the clone cable, the DLC pins on it are bigger, which is actually nicer than the Bosch cable. It does make a better connection to the vehicle. Now, aside from the physical differences and the wires, there are certain software differences. Let's boot up the clone first so you can see what it does. You'll notice that all of the LEDs will illuminate and the beep that it makes is quite rapid. Uh, it, it beeps quite quickly. It's quite high pitched. Let's plug it in. See, they all illuminate. Let's plug in the genuine one. No illumination of the LEDs. And a much more delayed, much lower pitch beep. I apologize for the noise that's cars driving by outside. Now, the fake one, another difference here, is it does not properly populate in the Bosch VCI manager. The real one does. So if you click on the real one, you connect to it, you go over here to properties, you'll see that that's all nice and full and get all the right details and all that kind of stuff. To get the clone one to populate, you gotta, let's disconnect first, you gotta go over here to the super sketchy Chinese driver that they usually have some rando remote into your computer to install. You gotta type in the serial number of it, click install, ignore all the virus pop-ups probably, go back to VCI manager, and oh, now we have the clone one in there. Go over to properties, I'm sorry, gotta connect first. We connect it, go over to properties, the serial number is all eights. It doesn't determine any of the right stuff. You go over here to update, it says that the version that's installed is 0000. Also not correct. Let's uninstall that. And let's open up the genuine one. We connect to the genuine one and software numbers populate. Another difference here is the genuine one will enter recovery mode, whereas the clone one will not. So if we disconnect the genuine one here and we hold these two buttons down, screen blanks out and it's in recover mode. 
Uh, new clone one, you hold down those two buttons. Nothing ever happens. Now, if you bought your JLR DOYP from a website such as Auto Newman or some other less than reputable Chinese seller, even though they claim it's real, it's probably not. Um, you can also see some differences in the rubber molding and stuff, but honestly, when I first think, got this thing in my hand, I thought it was real. My Ford uh, VCM3 has that same little green sticker. All the warranty void stickers on the screws and all that stuff all look correct. I mean, they had me fooled, but I ordered a real one to be able to tell the difference because when you're talking about a car that has modules that could be upwards of ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000, I would rather not take the chance on a sketchy Chinese product. The rubber boots that I have removed from the bottom to show you some differences are also quite clear in the differences. The USB logo on the genuine one is quite defined and on the clone one it's kind of large and blobby. It just doesn't look quite right. The way the lights come through on the genuine one there's no uh, spillover onto the the membrane here. On the clone one, quite a bit of light comes out through the membrane around the LED nubs. Well, I hope this video helps. Also, that's how you put that bad boy in recovery mode. If yours doesn't go into recovery mode, you definitely got ripped off. Do not open a dispute with PayPal. They will side with the seller. They will want you to send this device back to the Chinese seller. They're just going to sell it to somebody else and screw somebody else. Open a claim with your bank. Tell them that you were sold a counterfeit item. They will reverse the payment. Well, depending on who you bank with. But anyways, that's all I got for you. I hope that this video helps. Don't support Chinese clones. Use genuine stuff, especially on expensive European cars.